Hello class, this is chapter 1.6 and in this video we are going to do another reducible second order ODE but this time with x missing. This is how the differential equation looks like y y double prime equals 6y prime squared. So we make our substitution p equals y prime and when this happens we have Oh, sorry. Y double prime is equal to dp dx, which is going to be equal to dp dy times dy dx. Now, okay, just to remember here that the y prime is with respect to x, so this is equal to dy dx. Okay, and this is going to be equal to dp dy times p. Alright, so what's going to happen here is that we can replace y stays, y double prime becomes dp dy times p and this is equal to 6 times p squared. Okay, which seems like a really serviceable, serviceable differential equation. All right, and the way to solve this is once again by integration. So let's move all the p terms to one side and all the y terms to the other. So if 1p dp equals 6 over y dy, okay, and what we end up with is that we have a log p on one side and a 6 log y on the other plus c of course. Taking exponentials oops, sorry so this is just going to be p and this is just going to be y6 times ec. Okay, we can get it absolute values because y is, after all, going to be, uh, y is, after all, going to be, uh, y6 is going to be an even power, so this is going to be positive regardless. Okay, and we can rewrite this as when we take k equals ec, Hmm. Um, there's some, actually something more we can do. So we can actually get rid of the absolute value in the p here too, because p is equal going to be k y six. So the thing is, if p is negative, we can simply take um, we can simply take our absolute our k to be that, that definitely mean, that just means our k is negative. So k is really plus or minus e to the c. Okay, not too important, but we have p equals k y to the six, and that's our solution, our general solution in terms of p. We of course have to find a solution in terms of y and we go back to our substitution which is p equals dy dx and this gets us dy dx equals ky6 and we simply solve this That's not what we want, sorry, that's a big mistake. I'm not sure what I was doing there. Okay, we integrate again, of course, and we take 1 over y6 dy equals k dx. Integrate both sides. Okay, so y minus 6 is just going to be y minus 5 over minus 5 equals kx plus c. So y equals y minus 5 equals minus 5 kx minus 5c and y is just going to be minus 5 kx minus 5c 
raised to the negative one fifth power. So again, the we have two parameters because this was a second order equation to begin with, so don't be afraid. So we can actually make things a bit simpler by just just subsuming the constants into k and c. So this is you can write this down as kx plus c raised to the minus one over fifth power, and that's the solution of our differential equation.